Okay, for number eight, they give us data, and they have a final percent grade in a math class, and then the AP exam scores. And again, AP exam scores go from one to five, right? Five being the best. So they want to see if, based on an AP score, they could see if there's a relationship to the final percent grade, right? So the part of this question that is, that's cut off for this is, first, they want us to come up with the, I'm just reading from the book, they want us to come up with the graph of the scatter plot, and then they want us to put a line of best fit, right? And then they want us to get the equation of that, and then they want us to see if they're, to predict if you had a three on the AP score, what your final exam score would be, right? So this tells us that they want, you know, the final exam score to be equal to some function, and in that function they want your AP exam score, somewhere in there, right? Okay, so I'm going to graph that and then project that here, so let me grab that now. So here's my graph, and again, this is a rough graph, and I'm going to, you know, make some approximations because I need the equation of the line. So I'm going to say that this right here, it's hard to say, is, um, let's say that's 58, right, because it's not exactly. So one of the points is 0, 58, right? And then we need to find another point that's on the line. And this is the closest one. It's just under 90 there, right? So I'm going to call this point, you know, I'm going to call that uh, four, four and a half. And four and a half is not going to make for a very good slope calculation, but four and a half. And then that's about 89, right? Not quite 90. Okay. So now we need the slope, right? So let's calculate the slope. So the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the slope is 89 minus 58 over 4.5, 4.5 minus 0, right? So the slope then is 31 over 4.5, right? So over 9, right, because I need an integer, that would be 62 ninths, right? So there's our slope. And we know the y-intercept is 58. So the equation of the line then would be um, y or y equals um, 62 ninths, right, 62 ninths x plus 58, right, where x is the AP exam score and y is the final grade in percent. So here now they want us to predict um, if we got a 3 on the AP exam. So they're looking for, you know, this, right, this 3 right here, this 3. So if we went up, we could see about where it is on our line, right? It's up at about 79 or something, but we could plug it into this equation that we just came up with, right? So we have y equals 62 ninths times 3 plus 58. So that's y equals 62. The 3 and the 9 becomes a 3. So 62 thirds plus 58. So we get y equals 20 and what, 2 thirds plus 58. So that comes out to be 78 and 2 thirds. So based on this, the final exam score would be 78 and 2 thirds, right? Based on our, you know, equation of our trend line and the three on the AP exam.